One of the well-known journalists from CNN got quite a surprise as he arrived at the White House. Anyone who may have seen this probably had quite a laugh as they witnessed the power of Trump and the little surprise that may or may not have been planned. Most likely not planned at all, but this sure caught CNN's Jim Acosta off guard. He was caught on camera having a meltdown when the White House Secret Service failed to recognize him as he tried to enter the White House yesterday. Michael J. Morrison, who posted the video confirmed that Acosta was having a meltdown when the Secret Service stopped him after he had walked from the South Lawn into the White House without wearing his credentials around his neck. Sadly Morrison said that by the time he was able to get his camera out and start recording that Acosta was already cooling off. Clearly defeated, as Acosta left he said, I have been here five years and no one said anything to me before, as reported on National Review, Acosta has a history of odd behavior. Jim Acosta, CNN's White House correspondent, has been having a public meltdown regarding the president's treatment of the media, and the Washington Post has noticed. The Post's media reporter, Paul Farhi, launched an inquiry into Acosta's grandstanding in a piece in Sunday's style section. Acosta's remarks aren't just blunt, they're unusual. Reporters are supposed to report, not opine, wrote Farhi. Yet Acosta's disdain has flowed openly, raising a question about how far a reporter, supposedly a neutral arbiter of facts, not a commenter on them, can and should go. While CNN host Brian Stelter's 15-minute monologues moaning about Trump's treatment of the press are run-of-the-mill for cable news pundits, Acosta's public displays of resistance in the White House press briefing room break all precedent. Rather than press Sean Spicer or Sarah Huckabee Sanders on Trump's agenda, Acosta has spent since roughly last February focusing on how the White House conducts its press briefings and how it treats CNN. Acosta's repeated badgering of Spicer to hold on-camera briefings creates clip-worthy scenes, which feel like a bold defense of journalism, even though, given the nature of White House press briefings, they do not actually matter much. Briefings say most about a president's communications angle, and seeing as Trump seems not to have any clear communications strategy or message beyond his Twitter feed, the briefing has become little more than a charade. That has not stopped Acosta from tweeting out photos of his socks at non-televised briefings I can't show you a picture of Sean. So here is a look at some new socks I bought over the weekend, changing his Twitter bio to I believe in hashtag realnews, and lambasting an erosion of our freedoms at every possible television appearance. Of course, CNN has been goading this inanity at every point of his performance, no doubt because this feud between CNN and the White House generates so many views. While Trump's communications team has haplessly attempted to cling to hashtag Energy Week and hashtag Infrastructure Week as the media cares only about Russia, CNN has sent its Supreme Court sketch artist to the briefings at which cameras are prohibited. After all, nothing stands more in the way of democracy than not knowing what color tie Sean Spicer chose on a given day.